Hello, hello, and welcome back to more My GF Makes Me Read Homestuck with My GF. Arma, hello, that's me. Yay. I love this, the, the awkward delay every single time. Listen, I answer as quick as I can. It's okay, I, I love it. Uh, so when, god, when we left off, uh, it really just- We have another kid fucking about in this yeah, room, let's that's face what it. He's basically just fapping about and nothing happening. Also, uh, John found mysterious sticky substance leading to his bedroom. Uh, so you go ahead and read the, the page we left off on arm. Alright. You should probably go pester Egbert again. You wonder if he found the beta yet. You also might chat about your respective Scyllodices and Fetch Modi, if the topic happens to come up. You wonder if he's anywhere near as smooth with a Scyllodex as you are. Probably not. It's probably not even humanly possible. Equals, equals greater than. <laughs> Suddenly, a rambunctious crow flies in the open window and snatches the beta, possibly to make a nest with, or maybe just for the sake of being a brainless, feathery asshole. You yell at the bird. I love it. Ka -ka 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 -ka. <laughs> equals, equals, greater than. Oh, wait, hold on, I just realized. I wonder if all those green characters are another MS Paint Adventure group. Yeah. It's the felt. Uh, equals equals greater than. Stop! Ooh. 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 equals 7. <laughs> Throw the sword. That's great. Equals equals greater than. You accidentally launch your ninja sword. Everything goes flying out the window. Dead bird and all. Equals equals greater than. It's kind of scary to think if you just say a word and suddenly your fetch modus is like, is that a thing? Yeah. No, no wonder he doesn't talk can... much. Oh, yeah. No one can ever know about this. Mm. <clears throat> Sorry, I take another sip of my drink. Dave, look out the window. Yeah, you can kiss all that stuff goodbye. You feel sorry for the bird, but at least you never planned on ever using that beta, ever. Anyway, now that that bit's of you- Anyway, now that that bit of ugliness is behind you, you guess you can look forward to several more hours of messing around your room- Oh, wait, what? That thing's terrifying. It equals, is. equals, greater than. Also, man, epilepsy warning again with this series. <laughs> you prepare to descend to the stairs to your living room. You are standing eye to eye with a familiar foe, a twenty-foot-tall granite statue of the mighty wizard, Seth. Says Serpan, the learned. Your mother had him installed through a hole in the roof of a heavy-duty crane. Just look at that mystical gaze. To peer into those aloof glass and eyes is to arrest the curiosity of, a mor of any mortal. To behold the wisdom concealed in the furrows of that venerable face is to know the ceaseless joys of bewonderment itself. Any man so fortunate as to catch Askins, his merry twinkle or twitch of whisker shall surely have all his dreams fulfilled. God, bitch, talk normal! <laughs> Not gonna lie, I love this statue. Also, I'm gonna throw out once again, something with the animations in this my computer just doesn't like. Every time the lightning flashes, I get a lag warning from my stream. <laughs> <laughs> it's cursed! <laughs> equals equals greater than. You find this grisly abomination utterly detestable. Rose, psychoanalyze mother's love of wizards. There's nothing to psychoanalyze. Your mother clearly has no real affinity for these damnable things. She only collects them to spite you. If anything, she finds them even more repellent than you do. She's just a committed woman. Man, that's like true fucking like middle school or hate my parents' spite. My parents don't like things. They just do everything they do to spite me. <sighs> also, again, her cle like clearly her and John are uber fucking rich. Oh yeah, she for sure. 
the, she's like upper class and John is like upper middle class. And then yeah. the other friend is like lower middle class to upper lower class. Hold on. Sorry, I was responding to chat, as people can see. Rose, go downstairs to the kitchen back door. Oh my god, that- It's huge! It is. That's terrifying. Oh, sorry. You descend to the living room area of your home's expansive open layout. Expansive or expensive, both fit. Mm -hmm. There is the sound of rushing water beneath the floor. It tends to strike guests as a strange presence in the living space, but it's become hardly audible to you through familiarity. There's the front door, but hopefully there is no need to make the long trek around the house in the rain. You might as well see if you can slip through the kitchen and out the back unnoticed. Rose, view mother's solid copper vacuum statue. Okay. But it's bronze, not copper. But it wasn't always. A while ago you gave this as an ironic gift to your mom for Mother's Day. You even customized it with a drink holder to support one of her ubiquitous alcoholic beverages. She liked the gift so much, she had it bronzed and put on this pedestal. She even left it plugged in so it can still be turned on now and then. But never to do any cleaning. It never leaves this display. Sometimes, at night, when you're in your room, you can hear it wailing from downstairs. She must know you can hear it. She's completely deranged. I feel like her mom is like a genuinely nice person and she's just kind of a piece of shit. And like doesn't appreciate her mom's care for her. Because everything we hear always seems to signify the mom being, like, kind of nice and actually caring from the sound of it. Mm. Rose, grab the Eldritch Princess. It's too big to capture log. Not that you would want to move it anyway. The pretty princess doll has been sitting here for months, ever since your mother got this abomination for your birthday as a total passive-aggressive gesture. You decided to make it much less abominable abominable by knitting her majesty a new head mm -hmm. and new arms now it is now it brings a mischievous smile to your face whenever you walk by your mother hasn't removed her doll yet and probably never will she would never be the one to blink first that's pretty neat rose acquire umbrella for protection from elements it's like octo dad just octo wife hmm man Octodad's you... first half is so fucking good. Its second half is alright. <laughs> don't remember much of it. The longer it goes, the you... more video gamey it becomes, and the more video gamey it is, the less the joke lands. Octodad's at its best when you're literally just doing normal dad stuff. I kind of wish they had a segment where you were just doing office work. Mmm. Anyway, like the stapler. So. And you staple yeah. your hand. Yeah, anyway. like, exactly. Like, oh, walk around the office, make photocopies. Uh, like, like, pour coffee and bring it to the boss without spilling it. Like, staple together a binder of papers. Like, it would have been great. Mm. Sorry, go ahead. You. How do you say it? Is uh, more than? Is, is bigger than? Greater, greater than, than. First one's greater than, then the second one is a lesser than. All right. U is greater than L, and U is lesser than V. You're going to have a hell of a time accessing that card when you need it. You guess you'll just cross that bridge later. Rose, peek inside the kachan. The liquor bottles are out in full force. Mom's surely nearby. This house feels like when you have way too much money in The Sims and you just don't know what you're doing anymore. Soup, like, uh, a fucking old-fashioned style mansion filled with modern appliances and just random wizard statues. How many counters do you need? Hmm? Yes. <laughs> Rose, investigate richly colored object in the middle of screen. That will be your refrigerator. 
whose surface have customarily served as the battlefield for a chilly siege of passive aggressive one upmanship. This was a daring oh, this was a drawing you did of your cat Jaspers when you were younger, along with a poem about him. Your mother brought, bought this ostentatious fifteen thousand fr dollar frame for it. Oh yeah, she's rich. And had it welded to the door. Yeah, her mom is just clearly like a mom that loves her daughter. Mm hmm Equals equals greater than. Using the colorful magnet letters, you recently left a second su su a message. Which mm -hmm. may or may not have been directed toward anyone in particular. But you couldn't find the letter W, so you just stuck two V's together. Mm -hmm. Shrew. Uh, shrew? What is a shrew? A shrew is, I believe it's a type of animal, but in this context it means like... Oh god, how do I describe what shrew means? I'm just gonna Google it. Yeah, yeah, you Google it and give me the definition. Equals equals greater than... Actually, no, I'll Google it. You continue reading. Oh, the German translations are like house dragon. Evil, evil woman. Yeah, like, it's uh, like calling someone like an evil woman. It's like saying bitch, kinda. But in <laughs> olden language. Your mother then purchased a fresh pack of W's and left them there for your convenience. Appreciative of the thoughtful gesture, you left her a sincere thank you note, which you had legally notarized, and then marked with a drop of blood. <laughs> I love that. That that fits her character in a very funny, cute way. Like, a, a, a thank you note that's been legally notarized and marked with a drop of blood. Yeah. Like... I uh, the this super like I I just have the image in my head of like a super professional rich family that like legally notarize everything they're sort of giving back and forth to each other. Like mm. they write up a contract for like the fucking uh doing chores for an allowance and shit. Mm hmm. Uh, equals equals greater than. But part of it was touching the floor. So your mother was kind enough to lift the lower portion of the document with a velvet pillow. <laughs> Rose, attach a W uh, to... Attach W to face as a fake mustache. This is incredibly <laughs> silly. And you're not sure how it fits into your campaign against your mother, or getting your computer back online to escape your doom, but it's hard to resist getting a little silly sometimes. Especially when you're absolutely positive no one is watching. Wah! Wah! I like that we had the same thought. <laughs> Rose, capture log the wah! Wah! Is greater than L. Wah! Is greater than B. I don't understand how horrors works. Oh, uh, sorry. Equals equals greater than. But that unsightly void in the W pack won't do, nor will the gash in the plastic. You deposit 12 cents in its place, which is your approximation of the letter's value. You also make a vow to return later and neatly sew the plastic shut. Huh? She doesn't She's want so to owe her mum anything. She... That's so weird. Rose, think of ways to one-up mother. You now wonder how to address the pillow situation. <laughs> it seems the woman has you at clear disadvantage. Perhaps slipping a fresh dolly under the pillow will do the trick. Or maybe spilling a bit of wash Worcester sauce on it, and then having it dry cleaned and returned along with a laboriously in- Can you stop? Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm moving with the beat. <laughs> I'm also triggering my asthma. <laughs> yeah. Oh, please don't die. Uh, uh, I can't die. Due to denial, I'm immortal. I thought dying is just illegal on stream. <laughs> yes. Sorry, you carry on. Along with a laboriously ingratiating apology note. No, there's no time for anything like that. Or maybe, just thinking out loud here, 
you could use the entire pack of W's as M's. Oh yes, that would burn. But you've already done something with the W pack, and there's no need to go back and guilt that lily. This is delicate business. And that pillow is screaming for a bottle. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. Rose, capture log, velvet pillow. You decide to take the velvet pillow and lovingly embroider a poem in praise of motherhood on it. Hopefully you can pull this off before she notices it's gone. VE is greater than L. VE is less than VI. VE is greater than U. But it causes your tree to be pretty badly unbalanced. Wait. It surely will auto-balance itself in a moment. So she's saying she's gonna do something good for her mother to... Has a way in her spite. I wonder if the mother really does hate them. And they they are they just do nice things in for, way in a way of spite to both of them. I have no idea. Equals equals greater than. And just like that, the umbrella becomes accessible in the root card. That's one of the things you'll love about your tree modus: the happy surprises. This makes no sense. I think hers is like alphabetically sorting shit somehow. It makes no sense. Rose, head to the back door. Okay, Ooh. enough of that. Ugh, time to- oh. oh, She got that schwiffer though. Ye. Equals equals greater than. You don't know how she does that. You're never safe in this house. And of all things to be doing during a power outage, she sets up the ironic housewife routine again. That mop bucket doesn't even have any water in it. What an absolute mad woman. Her silhouette looks like a character from that old show with the oblongs. Okay. I don't- you've probably never seen that show. It was a very shortly lived Adult Swim show that was honestly very funny from what I remember. Rose, hop over counter, landing in a roll. This bird's gotta fly. Don't land it in a roll, you'll ruin the bread! <laughs> but on uh, Equals, equals, greater than. Youth, roll! <laughs> equals, equals, greater than. Lousy goddamn stupid wizards. Meanwhile, in the past again... You're almost done patching up the hole in your window with a gaffer tape. But it's sort of hard to get any work done with people keep pestering you all day. I guess you better get that. Dave, answer come. Scroll down. Oh, hi, Dave. Hi, sup? Not much. Sup with you, bro. <laughs> Good one. It's a ride being chill, I guess. You know, how it goes. Great. Feeling cool today, Mr. Cool Guy? Oh man, you know it. So cool. You know, shit is ice cold up in here. Shit is wicked bananas, I'm telling you. So, so have you talked to John today? Yeah, we were just talking a while ago about how he sucks at this Silidex. Can you believe he uses stack? That kid is ridiculous. Shawl, well, that doesn't sound like much fun. What was it you use again? Wait, never mind. I forgot whenever we talk about your goofy modices, I get a migraine. What do you want with John? Mm, I went to tell him happy birthday and ask him about his birthday package. Oh yeah, I was being sort of cagey and told him to check the mail, cause I was wondering if mine came yet. I think it did. Yeah? And I think mine came too. So, uh, I guess you want to know if he likes it or something. No, he will open it. He will lose it. Oh, uh, wow, sorry to hear that, I guess. No, it's good actually, because he will find it again later when he really needs it. Which, of course, is why I sent him it in the first place. Can she, like, see, see the future? Who knows? She's right, she's right home stuck. 
She's got that fourth wall power. See, like, I never get how you know these things. I don't know. I just know that I know. Oh, all right. Anyway, I have to go. I have to see Beck, which is always a bit of an undertaking. Man, if I were you, I would just take that fucking devil beast out behind the woodshed and blow him his head off. <laughs> I just think I could say if he tried. Yeah, say hi to your granddad for me too, okay? Yes, I guess an encounter with him is almost certainly is usually intense. Well, yeah, isn't it always with family? But he sounds like a total badass. Yeah, he totally is. Anyway, gotta go. See ya. Mwah! Dave, get food. It will be handy to have your P H O N E 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 equals 8 mod 10 equals 8 on standby, so you won't always have to go back to your computer whenever someone pesters you. This way, you can T-E-X-T M-E-S-S-A-G-E 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 equals 18 mod 10 equals 8 people no matter where you are or what outrageously cool thing you're up to. Equals equals greater than. So. Cool. <laughs> John. Per uh, peruse adversary into that room? Or pursue Pursuit. adversary, my bad. Pursue adversary into that room. And even meanwhile, in the present, sort of, once again, the slippery antagonist eludes you. You only find more of these unpleasant, oily smears. Someone is pestering you. Both your PDA and computer register the message. Ugh, some robot keeps jacking off all over my house. This cum will know what to do. <laughs> Alright, I'm out of my room. Now looking for my bros game. Oh, good. Yeah, there is no sign of Rose yet. I hope she's okay. Well, if she comes back, I'll be ready. You better know what you're talking about, because this could get ugly. Drop my phone, and I also took my awesome katana with me, in case things get too hot to handle. And they always do. You mean that cheap piece of shit you have on your wall? Hey, listen, fuck you. It's sharp, and it's awesome. And it's a sword. And a story. Okay, I don't really care. I'm in my room again. I really think there's someone else in, her, in this house. Like monsters or something. Howie. <laughs> I wish. Dude, monsters aren't real. That's stupid kid stuff for stupid babies. Maybe. Yeah, you're right. What? Are you an idiot? Of course there are monsters in your house. You're in some weird evil monster dimension, come on. Skepticism is the crutch of cinematic troglodytes. Like, hey, mom, dad, there's a dinosaur or ghost or whatever in my room. Yeah, right, Junior. <laughs> Go back to bed. Fuck you, mom and dad. How many times are we going to watch this trope unfold? It wasn't goddamn funny the first time I saw it. Just once, I'd like to see dad crap his pants when a kid says there's a vampire in his closet. Oh shit, everyone in the minivan! Be fucking dad of the year right there. Okay, okay, stop. What do I do? What do you have? A hammer? And <laughs> so lame. Okay, whatever. You should look into your weaponizing your Soldex. My bro is always getting on my case about it. But man, it's not easy as it sounds. But if you're fighting monsters, left and right, you don't have much choice. Hmm. Okay. I guess I can read up on data structure some more. How's it going there? I'm out in the living room. He's usually here, but I don't see him. Might be playing his mind games. He's always pulling this ninja shit. All I see is little Cal over there, so I guess he can't be far. <laughs> oh god, so lame. What? See, I just don't know why you think it's cool. His ventriloquist rapping thing. Oh, little Cal? No, man, little Cal's the shit. That's fine. You're entitled to your opinion. I'm just saying that being a white guy who is a rapper with a ventriloquist doll is not cool by any stretch of the imagination, or by any definition of the word cool, ironic or otherwise. That's all I'm saying. What does him being white have yeah. to do with it, huh, Egbert? 
Racist. Yeah, bullshit. Cal's dope. Puppets are awesome. John Eckbert blows. The end. Yeah, more like the opposite of all those things is the thing that is true. I'm going to read. Good luck with your bro. Read your book and stay away from these foes. <laughs> Monsters. Only re only babies who poop in their diapers believe in that stuff. Caught myself that time. I I love I love I love this creature. Look at him. <laughs> he radiates gremlin energy. Just like me and you. <laughs> should I should I make the joke? No, no, I'm not gonna make that joke. I wonder if your PC's gonna shit itself. Next up is an animation. <laughs> Rose, you throw right. To, uh, Rose, you throw right out the front door. It's loading. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Strife. Ooh, and I can I, I can interact with this one. That's uh, agri. It's good that Riri Cursive is here. If there's any secret in here, they will let us know. Yeah. Below- uh, I didn't see what that said at the end there. Oh well. Abjur! Aggressed! Passive. <laughs> Empty suicide threat. Oh no. Abstain. Ironic thing alert. Alright, let's move on. I, I really like this song, honestly. I love like, all the music. I agree with Mark Hardy. Like, I, I would love this in an actual video game. Equals equals greater than. <laughs> It looks like mom has satisfied her strife quota for the day. She simply returns to her housework. No point in going without the front door anymore. Might as well head out the back, like you originally planned. I like the fucking pony. Rose, first, be the pony. Second, trample mom. <laughs> you can't be the stupid pony, and frankly, you can't imagine why anyone would want to. But you give the pony a begrudging pat on the snout anyway. Her name is Maplehoof. Oh, hang on. Mark hardly made a, made a Slender game? The, uh, like, one of the Slenderman games? Cool. Huh. God, I adore these. It has in Slender the Eight Pages or has in Slender? Because those are the two big Slenderman games. Eight pages. Fun fact, pretty much every single thing in eight pages is ripped straight from the web series Marble Hornets. A amazing web series, which is where pretty much everything you know about Slenderman comes from. I hugely recommend it. It can be a little bit of a drag because of how long it is, but if you want to be introduced to the story in a more digestible format, the YouTuber Nightmind has some glorious videos on it. I love ARGs and horror stuff, and Nightmind is a godsend for that kind of content. Uh, anyway. John, turn around! <laughs> what? Oh, he's reading. Hold on. Let me zoom in a little bit. Uh... Data structure for assholes. Chapter 7. God damn it, why do I even bother? The good news, finally your revolting incompetence can be put to use. Instead of accidentally firing a Silidex full of steak knives into a priceless oil painting or your beloved great aunt, you can turn that fumbling fury towards, your, towards one of your foes. Such as the ability to grasp painful simple concepts. The bad news, I'm tired of explaining myself, myself, 
horse if you're gibbering uh, to, to gibbering fuckwads. In this chapter, I will be phoning in with the liberal use of diagrams and shitty clip art. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to wiggle your uh, your own viscous se secretions like the worms you are? That's what. Here, learn something for a change. <laughs> Asshole notes. Purse your lips together to form a stiff pucker. Apply them to my rear end. I now pronounce you man and wife. Now get in the kitchen and make my ass dinner, bitch. You're trying to read, okay? This book is already unpleasant enough as it is without weird voices in your head nagging you to do things. Besides, I thought we already agreed there's no such thing as monsters. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, we've been going for, once again, another 30 minutes. So... Um... I think we're gonna... Break again. Uh, but we're gonna keep going in a little, we're gonna keep going with more in a moment. I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna go and get my drink refilled to make sure I have a nice lubricated throat. Um. So, we will be back momentarily. I hope you've all been enjoying this. I've been, uh, Brian, you can call me Ulrich. I've been Arma. And we will see you in the next part. Ta-ta!